Hi, this is Terry Gray with Palomar College Academic Technology and today I'd like to talk about learning modules in Blackboard version 9.1. If you have information that you want to uh, guide your students through, a page at a time or a screen at a time, anything you want to relay in a linear fashion, learning modules may be for you. They uh, certainly have been an overlooked part of Blackboard and with version 9.1 they're easier than ever to use. Now I'm in one of my sandbox courses here with edit mode turned on and I have a learning module up on the screen. But before I go into this learning module to show you what its structure looks like, I'd like to show you uh, how to build a learning module from the beginning, how to initially configure one. So first of all go to some content area where you want to place the learning module. Hover your mouse over build content and come down and select learning module and we have to give our learning module a title so I'm going to click in the name box and call it malaria part two just something like that I'm going to add some instructions uh, don't worry about reading those instructions although it would be very important for you to provide instructions to your students on what your expectations are uh, through the learning module and then uh, coming down to the view section of this form we can uh, see that we have a couple of choices. One that is unique to learning modules and that is enforce sequential viewing of learning module. In other words, do you want to show them a screen at a time and not let them jump forward in the learning module, but just uh, take it as you present it? Uh, and uh, in this case I'm going to answer yes to this question. The other question, uh, not unique to learning modules, but that are important to their display on screen is, uh, whether we want the learning module to open in a new window. I would suggest that yes is a good answer for this. Uh, that eliminates the Blackboard course menu up on the left of the screen and gives you more screen real estate to present materials. Okay, yeah, but it's uh, completely a matter of taste. Okay, now I'm going to submit and there's that learning module I just created. Now if I were to click and enter into it uh, I would uh, then have to start building it with the build content button. But uh, I'm going to go back and actually select one that I've already built to show you what it looks like. And let's go ahead and review the settings for this one of, of the malaria life cycle. I'm going to edit the learning module settings. There's my title, there's my instructions, and as you can see I am enforcing sequential viewing and I'm requesting that Blackboard open it in a new window. Okay, I didn't change anything so I can cancel out of this. Just wanted to show you those. So uh, let me go ahead and enter the learning module and because I have edit mode turned on I'm in as a teacher and this is uh, what my learning module looks like. It's a sequential series of items that I have added to the learning module. And here's item one called overview, which if you look at the table of contents over here, corresponds with this menu item in uh, the table of contents. Uh, within the overview, I've included a voice recording, uh, something that is easy to do with the new mashup embed tools in the uh, visual text box editor. I've included some text, a chart from the CDC. Uh, my topic is the malaria plasmodium life cycle so this chart is very relevant. Some other explanatory text and a link. Okay that's that's the overview. Then the next part of it, mosquito bite sporozoite infection, corresponds with the second uh, item in the table of contents and so on. So there's my second item, uh, graph, other graphics, and here's my third one, human liver stage, a graph, a link, uh, textual material. Here's my fourth with human blood stages, another graph, terms to learn, and I could have added other other materials too, anything you can add in any 
uh, Blackboard content area can be added here. Here's a video summary of the teaching of this learning module. Very nice little video, video from um, Howard Hughes Medical Institute, uh, just by the way. And the final item I've included is a test your knowledge quiz, which I've set up for the students to take as often as they like. Okay, and the grade won't go in the grade book. So that's what it looks like, and each one of those items corresponds with a piece in the table of contents. Okay, now I'm going to turn off edit mode so you can see it just how a student would see it. Okay, and as you can see, overview is lit up here, and here's the overview, and all the student can see is that first part until they click the next link to move the neck to the next part of my learning module or they can click this arrow key to move on to step two so let's go to step two and now you can see mosquito bite um, that part is is now here let me expand this a little is the active part and only the next part or the previous parts are active links now these other parts, human blood stage, video summary, test your knowledge, are not lit up yet because I don't want the students coming to those parts until they have read through this part and mastered it. Okay, so let me just step through here, a link at a time, or I can use these controls over on the right to step through, or at the top of the table of contents. There's a handy link on the table of contents to minimize it to provide more screen real estate for seeing what we're doing and then maximize again. That's what these little controls are all about up here. You can also move the table of contents to the bottom of the screen or back up to the upper left. So uh, that's how that would work. I'm going to move to my video summary. It's a quick time video. I could play my video now and then I could move to my test your knowledge section and click to launch launches the test in a new window that's because that's the way I've configured it and I would click begin to begin the test okay that's how learning modules look for students I'm gonna turn my edit mode back on and I'm gonna go in uh, and edit my settings here and show you what it's like if I did not enforce sequential viewing I'm setting that to no clicking submit and now entering the learning module and going to student view and now you can see all of the links on the menu are lit up so I could jump to any section of it and it do not have to progress through it one screen at a time so that's up to you it depends on the what you think is the most effective way to deliver your learning material uh, but uh, learning modules are a, a fun and interesting way to de develop material for your students, especially in review for a test. So I hope you give them a try. Thanks for listening.